Yeah, well, first it starts with the quarterback, you know, Connor Shaw, a very accurate passer. And the thing that makes him a little bit different and pretty scary is that he's very mobile. And uh, he's mobile in the fact that he can tuck the ball and run. And he's mobile, uh, he's dangerous in the fact that he can, you know, scramble around and still throw the ball. So he's, he's, a, he's a dynamic that we have to be aware of. we got to have a plan for him. And then Mike Davis obviously leads the SEC in, in rushing. Tremendous back, great lateral quickness, acceleration, great vision in the hole, breaks tackles. And then they have a big offensive line. And uh, that's, you know, those, those big guys pounding you all, all game. It's, it's, you know, we you don't have a lot of depth. Obviously, we got to be uh, cognizant of that. And then White House do, do a really good job catching the ball. Shaw doesn't like to slide. Is that something you make your defenders aware of? Well, you know, I. I see him sliding a little bit more. I see him in a different light now since the injury. I, I do. I see him making decisions like, hey, I got the first down. Let me get down here. Uh, when he's in traffic, I think he, he's a little bit more aware of what's happening around him. He, he has shown that he will go down and, and, and uh, not take those additional hits. What do you make of Mike Davis's top end speed? Sometimes because of his physical style, maybe that's overlooked. Yeah, no, I think I think his top end speed is, is excellent. The thing that you know, makes him so challenging is that, you know, if you get guys around him, he can make a miss. He's got a great ability to jump cut and then accelerate and then potentially break a tackle. So he's going to be a great challenge for us. Coach, you guys have seen some really fine quarterbacks already. What is, you know, Shaw, Shaw Rank, and Mario and Murray, the way he, the second leading rusher on the team, really kind of jumps out. Yeah, you know, he, he's, I know him from, from the recruiting process. You know, he's out of the state of Georgia. His dad was a, He's a high school football coach. He's really savvy. He's got high character, young man. And, uh, he has a, a great uh, dimension to their offense. And so we, we know we're going to have a great challenge. With the no interceptions to this point in the season, how, you know, how high of a level does he, does he play and execute that offense? I think he does a great job. He knows where to go with the football. Um, and then when he doesn't force it, if it's not there, then he uses his feet you know, to hurt you and get him yardage and pick up first downs. John? When you look at their offense, they've been able to generate a lot of explosive plays. Is that scheme or is that the players? I guess how are they able to, to get out and open I, it's, so much? It's a tribute that to, to both mm -hmm. scheme and players. You know, Sometimes you have the right play called or the right defense called and the guy doesn't make a play. So it's it's a combination of both. They're, they're well coached. We know that. We know that uh, they've got some weapons um, on offense. So we just we just got to go out and play our game. Just how important is it that you do have those 11 guys rally, just like you do every week, but yeah. just because of how he's, how some of those guys have been able to break tackles. Yeah, that's that's going to be huge, you know, especially with, with Davis, his ability to make people miss and then also break tackles. we got to get a lot of hats around the football. The line is a lot of experience, just what sticks out the line. Size, you know, they're big, they're long, um, they get on you, they move you, they wear you down. And they, they're, get, they're getting better. You see them getting better as the season goes. So uh, it's, it's going to be a great challenge. It's, it's an opportunity for us to go out and see where we're at. In terms of aggressiveness, guys, you've won against. How aggressive is, is Steve Swagger? He's aggressive. He's going to, he, you know, he's going to take a shot. Yeah, yeah, he's aggressive. Is, is that something that you go into telling your guys? Or Absolutely. You to... Yeah, you got to know. You got to know the situation. Um, he's a guy that's going to try and open it up and, and hit you. Right off the get-go, he's going to come out swinging. So that's what makes it fun. That's what makes it exciting. Coach, I know you crossed paths with him before. But how, you know, the way that they're, he has kind of adapted his game to what Shaw seems to be best. You know, what does it say about him as a coach? Has it really changed it up as much as it looks like? Yeah, yeah. You know, when he had Lattimore, yeah. he adapted to his strengths and, and formed his offense around him. And then now he has Connor and doing some really good things, obviously with him. And I, I, I just think he's a smart ball coach. You know, he just. He uh, isn't stubborn. He sees what his talent level is. He sees what the skill set of the players that he has, and he, he adapts accordingly. Uh, there are a lot of things that he still does, you know, but uh, I think I think uh, to his his credit, he's he's adapted to what his players are able to do. And I know there's a lot going on both sides of the ball, but you guys have 11 interceptions. You know. Second, How many? Uh, left, second the league. Okay. They, you know, he, Shaw's not thrown one yet. Is it oversimplifying to say that's kind of you know maybe the biggest matchup of this for you guys on Saturday to, to turn them over and get them out of this comfort zone? Yeah. You know we don't talk about uh, interceptions. We talk about high discipline. We talk about execution, assignments, everybody playing together, and, the, and really the the interceptions are a byproduct of that. So that's 
we don't really talk about hey interceptions this or that. So. What are some of the differences in South Carolina's yeah. offense from maybe like three games ago to the Arkansas game? It just seems like everything's starting to click. Yeah, they um, they made plays. I mean, they they did a, they did a great job. They got into the right plays at the right times, and so it makes it very challenging uh, for us as a defense. So they get, you know they they run. Uh, they got a great running back and a great quarterback, so that's that's really just it. How much more difficult is it is the balance, you know, having a thing?